South Korea is considering sending military and intelligence officials to Ukraine after the North deployed troops to support Russia, according to Newsweek. South Korean media have reported, citing an intelligence official, that the South Korean government and military are reviewing a plan to send an appropriate number of personnel, including intelligence officers who specialize in North Korea and experts in enemy tactics, to Ukraine. These personnel would conduct interrogations or provide interpreting if Ukrainian forces took North Korean soldiers prisoner. They would also provide Kyiv with intelligence about North Korea's military tactics, doctrine and operations. Later, during a press briefing, the South Korean Defense Ministry said it would consider measures regarding the supply of lethal weapons to Ukraine with an open attitude. South Korea's foreign ministry has summoned Russian ambassador Georgi Zinoviev to Seoul to lodge a protest over the deployment of North Korean troops to Ukraine. The ambassador reportedly met with Kim Hong-kyun, South Korea's first deputy foreign minister. The South Korean foreign ministry has not responded to requests for comment. Russia may compensate North Korea for its military support in the war against Ukraine with nuclear weapons technologies, according to South Korea's permanent representative to the UN, Hwang jun kuk North Korea expects generous payments from Moscow for its military involvement. This could include both financial and military assistance as well as technologies related to nuclear weapons, Huang stated. He suggested that Pyongyang may soon become an active participant in Russia's war against Ukraine. The South Korean ambassador urged Russia to immediately withdraw all its troops from Ukraine, emphasizing that lasting peace in Ukraine can only be achieved under the UN Charter and international law. Valery Ryabik, Ukrainian military expert, discussed how South Korea can work with Ukraine given North Korea's support for Russia. Right now, a new foundation for cooperation between Ukraine and South Korea is being established. For South Korea, it's important that some personnel who might have defected cannot be involved at this stage because they would be participating in Russian aggression against Ukraine. South Korea is also interested in making sure that those who gain combat experience don't return. These two factors align, creating new opportunities for South Korea to support Ukraine more actively, he said. A new basis for cooperation between Ukraine and South Korea is being formed. It's important for South Korea that some personnel who could threaten them cannot do so right now as they would be fighting in the war against Ukraine. South Korea also wants to make sure that those who gain combat experience don't return. These two factors align, opening up new opportunities for South Korea to support Ukraine more actively, he said. A security camera about a half mile away caught the moment when a tour helicopter crashed into a Houston radio tower and burst into flames, killing all four people aboard. Officials said the helicopter crashed just before 8 p.m. on Sunday in a neighborhood east of downtown. It had taken off from nearby Ellington Field. Officials said no one on the ground was injured. Some vehicles were damaged by no nearby homes were. The National Transportation Safety Board says it's investigating the crash of the Robinson R-44-2 helicopter, which preliminary information shows was operating as an air tour flight.